Hello everyone, my name is Alexa and I am the Assistant Head of the Digital Services Department at the Niles Main District Library. In this video, we are going to be discussing Internet Basics. This is a great tutorial if you want to learn the basics of Internet technology, how to navigate a browser, locate a website, and stay safe while online searching. Let's get started. In this video, we will go over terminology and descriptions, web browsers and URLs, search tools and tips, and internet safety. The internet is a system of interconnected global computer networks that allow people to share digital information with one another. The web is a system of online documents that are linked together, very much like a spider web. A web browser is a program that allows users to view websites and navigate between them using hyperlinks. Web browsers are also used to access web-based applications like Yahoo or Gmail and to store and access documents using web services like Google Docs. The four most popular web browsers are Safari, Firefox, Chrome, and Edge. A website is a collection of web pages that are linked together to present information about a business, group, organization, or person. A web page is an electronic document with text, images, and other content that is accessed by clicking a hyperlink from the results list in a web browser. A home page is the landing page or page that first appears when accessing a website. Usually, it is the page that contains hyperlinks to all other web pages within the website. The cloud is the term used to describe web-based application and or files that are accessed with a login and password from a shared remote server. The address bar is the area where you type in the address of the website you want to locate or keywords if the exact name is not known. Usually, the address begins with a www. something. The search box is the area used to enter keywords when the exact web address is unknown. Some browsers only have a single search box that functions as both the address bar and the search box. Tabs are the feature that allows users to have more than one web page or website open at one time and easily move back and forth between them. Buttons are the features that allows users to access specific web browser functions, such as refresh the page, move forward or back between screens, or return to the home page for the web browser. A web address tells a computer the correct combination of letters, numbers, and or characters to reach a particular website from any computer in the world. It is also why it is called a URL, or a Uniform Resource Locator. A web address or a URL contains no spaces and does not forgive spelling errors. The end of a URL or a web address provides information that may tell users something about the type of site it is. Some of the common domains are .com, which is mostly used for commercial companies and businesses, .edu, which is used for educational institutions, .gov, which is for government agencies, .info, which is for informational sites, .net, which is usually tied to an internet service provider like Comcast and AT&T, and .org, which is mostly used for nonprofits. The home page is the website page that will first appear when you open your browser. Search engines, such as Google, can be useful as home pages. The address bar is the box where you type a web address or a URL. Clicking the back arrow will take you back to the previous page you were on. The forward arrow will return you to the page you were on after you've hit the back button. The refresh button will reload the page you are on. This is helpful if the page didn't load properly or if recent updates have been made. When you open a browser, you start with one tab. You can use this tab to visit other websites by entering a URL into the address bar. You can open multiple tabs within one browser window and switch back and forth. Even though the internet provides lots of good information, services, and opportunities for connecting with others, 
it's important to be aware of the risks associated with being online. Secure websites usually begin with a web address http colon forward slash forward slash and or show a lock icon or message to alert users that the website owner employs their own security team to ensure encryption of user information. Antivirus software is software that protects your computer from viruses or malware. Software updates are used to provide fixes to flaws in the software in addition to enhanced user features. It's a good idea to stay updated on software updates that your computer or device recommends. Having strong passwords for your logins will thwart many hackers. Here are some guidelines to follow to create strong passwords. Have at least seven characters in your password. Use a mix of upper and lowercase letters. Use at least one number. Use a symbol. And have your password be unique to the website that you're using. Here are some tips and tricks to use while you search online. Use quotation marks around a phrase to limit results to the terms inside the quotation marks. Use connector words like and and or between keywords to broaden or narrow your search. For example, you can search Chicago and events, or you can search Chicago and events or museums. If you aren't getting an exact match or the results look off to you, be sure to check for the following. Additional pages of results, which appear in number form at the bottom of the page, and helpful hints from the search engine like also try or searches related to. Keep your software programs and apps updated to the most current versions. Create strong, unique passwords for each website and store them in a secure location i.e. not in a folder on your computer desktop labeled passwords. Also ensure your passwords have at least seven characters, a mix of upper and lowercase letters, and contain both a number and a symbol. Thank you for watching. I hope you feel a little more confident about using the internet. I'd like to thank digitallearn.org for the content used in this video and the wonderful people that put the resources together.